What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and welcome to part five of my Global Challenge 3 run. This will be the final installment. I have a more in-depth breakdown of this team in part one. I'll link to it in the description below. But basically, you set up Nasty Plot with Moltres, or you set up Shelters with Gudra, and the rest of the team keeps them alive while they sweep. Let's get on with it. Okay, I got another disconnect out just before this. I'm gonna have to have a talk with my internet provider. This person is very highly ranked, so I can get all my points back if I win this. They've got Indeedy Sneasler, that's probably Psychic Seed combo. They've got... I don't even know. Landorus, Bundle, Flutter, Roaring Moon. I don't even know what to think about that. Uh, the Sneasler Indeedy. How do I handle Sneasler and Didi? I don't know how I handle Sneasler and Didi, if I'm being honest. Uh, is it going to be the Rock Slide set? Uh, Bundle? I don't know how to feel about Bundle. It hits my Firewater Grass Core really hard. Landorus is obviously a problem, so Milotic is coming. And I need screens. I need a Grimmsnarl in the front, Milotic in the back. I don't see much use for Incineroar. Still don't know if it's Moltres or Gudra. I think it's Gudra. Gudra has had more success against Landorus than Moltres has. And then Milo, Sinistra. Those are the ones I need to bring. I guess I'm a little worried about the Sneasler in DD lead if they have Swords Dance. And, oh, cool, a picture with Carmen. Carmine? I think it's Carmen. I have your Sinistra. And it's Bundle Flutter. Booster on Bundle. Uh, who's your Heavy Slam swap in? I guess Moon? Everything on your team takes neutral, at least. I'm gonna light screen, and I'm gonna heavy slam because I think you're specs. I think I can just delete Fluttermane here. You don't protect, you don't swap, you don't Terra. You just go for a freeze dry, plus what, a Moon Blast? Just a Gleam. Okay. This is a great start. Oh, you're Sash. Weird. Pretty weird, but okay. Acceptable. Uh, maybe I want to get Grimmsnarl out into, like, Sinistra now. Heal up Gudra a little bit. Just click Parting Shot. Onto... Bundle. And go for Heavy Slam on Flutter again. I see why they felt safe not doing anything turn one. Now they swap it out, but like Heavy Slam is still good into everything you have. Uh, could that be Indeedy blocking the parting shot? It is. That's a little annoying. But it's not like Bundle's gonna really do anything that bad. Just another freeze dry. Which does a crit and does tons of damage. I love it. Okay, I think I want to play this slow. I don't want to just turn up the tempo too much. I'm going to Spirit Break here. Could they have Encore? Well, I haven't really set up anything, so it wouldn't be the end of the world if they did. I think I will just click Protect then. Oh, they're going for a helping-handed boosted move. Okay. I'm just protecting that. You gonna try to take out Grim? You are. You are going to fail. And then you are going to be weakened even more. 
That's great. Now, if you have Encore, here's the part where you use it and start annoying me. But I'm going to bring in Sinistra to heal up Gudra. And I think I'll set up a shelter now. I'm not particularly threatened by anything, and if they have Encore, they're already going to be able to stop me. Here we go. Uh, it's just a follow me from Indeedee. And freeze dry. Ugh, into Sinistia. Ouch. But I get my shelter boost. That's good. Alright. Uh, the question is, if I've got shelter up, do I want to preserve Reflect for the Sneasler? Might not be the biggest deal in the world. Uh, getting Sinistra out seems nice. Helping Hand Freeze Dry. They did, what, 60 damage? They'll do 90? Oh, that won't KO. Hmm. wonder if that means I should Trick Room here. Yeah, Trick Room and just Body Press. Oh, they have Encore. Ah! <laughs> oh, man. Why didn't you do that before? Okay, that's one. Um, actually, though, in Trick Room, Trick Room will still be up when my Encore lock ends. So this might actually be fine. I just have to shelter two more turns in a row and survive it. I will life do. Two turns. Life do. Shelter again. Battle was canceled? Okay. Uh, GG. Thank you for the points. Okay, I did gain a lot of points from that last one. Oh, it's Exeggutor. Oh, it's regular Exeggutor with Torkoal, Fluttermane, Bolt, Incin, and Tornadus. That is the sunniest sun team under the sun. Good thing I have Rain Dance on something. I do not have Rain Dance on something. Uh, that's terrifying. I'm so scared of the Raging Bolt. It can do so much damage. Uh, I need Grimmsnarl is what that means. I need Incineroar, honestly. <sighs> Incineroar is good overall. Immune to the, the Exeggutor. His Parting Shot, Fake Out. That's such a passive lead by my part, though, if I do that. Except that Flare Blitz actually does a lot, so maybe I can lead that. Sinistra seems... kinda bad. Honestly. Milotic's fine, though. And then it's gotta be Gudra. It has to be Gudra. What's Moltres gonna do? Force me to Terra? Yeah, it's Gudra. They have all special attackers, though. Ah, oh, great. <sighs> it might be Moltres. I'm going Gudra. I know it's Incineroar. Uh, but I need to protect Incineroar. I need to keep Incineroar safe and healthy. So maybe I'll be throwing life dues at it. <laughs> Sai! Sai! Sai ay ay! Oh, and they got the drip? Okay. Oh, they're leading with the sauce. They're leading with the sauce. This is the sauce. Terra Fairy, Helping Hand Moonblast. Eats Incineroars for breakfast. Especially if they're special attack boosting, which they are. Oh lord. Get me out of here. Oh, and it's a jet pack Torkoal? I guess that's better, but uh, now they get a better positioning. 
go into their own Incineroar. Alright, uh, presumably mine's faster. I have a fast Incineroar. So what do I do? Do I Parting Shot out into either Milo or Gudra? Or maybe I set up Light Screen first. While I fake out their Incin. Oh no, if they just Terra Ghost Incin, they just win. <laughs> Terra Ghost, fake out my Grim Snarl. No, it's Fairy. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I could have faked out that slot. That would have been funny. But I didn't think they were going to do that. I do have the faster Incin. Thank you, Speed EVs. They were going for fake out. I get Light Screen. Um, if this is a Moonblast, I don't think Grimmsnarl lives anyway. It's just a Gleam. Yeah, we live that. Oh, or not? Okay. Yeah, you're specs. I thought I would live that. I guess your internal calc doesn't always work. Alright, I go Gudra. I threaten the Heavy Slam. Parting shot into my Lotic. Gotta click Heavy Slam there. They could be going like into Torpole. I could taunt their Incineroar to prevent a Parting Shot, but I'm not too worried about it using Parting Shot. I'm gonna Parting Shot the Incin slot. Okay, yeah, they do swap Fluttermane, fine. Into Torkoal, I guess? Yeah, it's Torkoal. And this, if they try to parting shot my Incin, I brought my Lotic into that slot, so that's good. Oh boy. Yeah, Incineroar is now in Moonblast range, which is pretty scary. They just knock off my leftovers, that's okay. That didn't do much damage. I think I will set up shelter so I can start doing more damage to stuff. And just throw a Scald at Torkoal. I don't know if they have Eruption, but chipping them down would be nice either way. And Gudra is faster than Incin, which is interesting. Knock off my Wiki Berry. Fine! It basically never triggers anyway. Your body press into Gudra. Pathetic. Body press your Incin now. And do up some life. Because if I am being consistently faster than you. Though if you have no EVs, it should just be a speed tie. But if I can be faster than you this turn and hit you with a body press, plus two, might KO. Oh, they have U-turn, and they win the speed tie? Disgusting. Electro Furia? Oh, I like hitting that with Body Press, actually. I like hitting that with Body Press a lot. I think I will commit the Fairy Terra now. Now that I know all their Pokemon. Fairy Terra looks good. No point in going Water Incin, no point in going Grass Milotic. Set up another Shelter, and... I think I'll straight Ice Beam you. You're not gonna clap here. You already used Terra. I can get some chip. Put you in body press range. And if Torkoal just wants to keep using body press, whatever. 
I'm surprised it doesn't have something like yawn. Helping hand boosted something or other? Yikes. Oh, it's a Draco! Get wrecked. Yeah, helping hand must be body press, helping hand, overheat because of the eject pack. I don't know what your last move is. And the sun's gone. Oh, that's good. Now I just go for a body press and a life duke so I don't get thunderclapped. Yeah, four coal swap, that's fine. You want to get the sun back. Incineroar! You're willing to power me up here? Okay. And they just protect? Alright, you say so. Now, who do you fake out? Do you go for a thunderclap? Uh, do you go for fake out and like a thunderbolt into my lottic? Would losing my lottic be the end of the world? Not exactly. Gudra is set up in a position where it can win this. Would I rather lose my Lodic or Incineroar? I think I'd rather lose Incineroar. Sorry, Milo. You're not in a position to be doing stuff here. I, I know that plus two was tempting, but sometimes you gotta give it up. Yeah, they fake out that slot. Going for the fake out, take out. Yep. And Incineroar actually eats that, but gets paralyzed. Hmm. I think I'd rather be dead than paralyzed. How many times has Gudra been intimidated? Because this Heavy Slam might not KO Fluttermane anymore. Oh, they just bring out Torkoal. <laughs> Yeah, I've got minus one attack. Uh, your Incineroar has a U-turn, we know. I think I'll go for a body press into the Torkoal slot. And just try to fake out their Incineroar. Don't let them get any momentum. I'm fully paralyzed anyway. I wasn't going to do nothing. All right. Flare Blitz shouldn't do too much, yeah. Body Press should do a lot, but not KO. Correct. And you just overheat. Cool. And Light Screen's gone, that's bad. I'm gonna... I'm gonna heavy slam it Incineroar because I don't want to take a knockout. And I'll parting shot from the Torkoal slot. Torkoal has protect. Interesting. Yes! Oh, I got them. Yes! I knew they would U turn. But I had to hope that I lose the speed tie. Oh, this damage will be amazing. If only I had also doubled into that slot.
Here we just gotta protect and try to flare blitz them. This forces them to go for Dazzling Gleam. Which seems to be what they would go for anyway. Can Milotic take the Helping Hand to Dazzling Gleam? I don't actually know. I sure hope so. I don't know if Gudra can, which is also pretty scary. Body press and ice beam. And hopefully one of these takes out the Flutter Mane. If the Dazzling Gleam just double KOs, they got the sauce. This is a, this is just such a good team they got. I love that combo so much. Ooh, Milotic only lives with two. That's not enough because we got our berry knocked off earlier. Good game. Ah, oh, good game. That's so tough. I don't have Protect, so they just fake out and they win. Ah. Oh. Well played. Very well played. How could I have won this? I think I played correctly. So then knocking out Grimmsnarl immediately though was crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna run it. Oh. Could. I have won with Moltres, maybe? Terra Moltres maybe had a chance. Okay, Chen Pao, Urshifu, Rillaboom, Incineroar with the Raging Bolt and Fluttermane. This game is screaming Gudra. It's 100% a Gudra game. There's Gudra Grim. Oh, I guess they have, they have Fake Out, Take Out options. They have Fluttermane and two Fake Out users. I guess if they go for the fake out take out, I just swap Grim turn one. You know, do I need light screen at all? I could lead with like an Incineroar. And then have Sinistra Milo in the back. Not set up screens? Is that right? I think I really want light screen, honestly. the bolt or something. Feels like it would be a Calm Mind Bolt on this kind of set. But there's so many intimidable targets. And having something that hits Rillaboom really hard is nice when I bring Milotic, so. I think this is the right four. I think they're gonna lead Fluttermane and something with Fake Out. I will have the faster Fake Out if they have Incineroar. Boo, no trainer card. Uh, Rillaboom has the fastest Fake Out. If they lead Incineroar, I get intimidated. Chen Pao Water Shifu. Okie dokie. Do they have any way to stop priority? No. Terra, shelter up. Fake out her Shifu. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'm kind of forced to do that. Turn two, I'll go into Sinistra. Or maybe Milotic. I guess it depends. But once I get the shelter off and the Terra, these two can't touch Kudra. The problem is they're going to try to rip apart the rest of my team, aside from Gudra, and I have to try to not let everything die. Because <laughs> Gudra v. The World can be done, it's just a lot harder. Okay, I don't care that you detected. In fact, I like that because it reveals to me your item. It is not Scarf. Could be Sash, but Chen Pao would be the Sash. Love it. In 
fact, because I know you're not Sash, not Scarf, I mean, you might just go for a Surging Strikes on Incineroar now, which I can abuse with my Rocky Helmet while I shelter again, because I'm not going to KO either of those here. And I would like to have more shelter boosts in case they have bolts in the back. Uh, so that I can do a lot of damage to Bolt before it can set up. Yeah, I could bring in Sinistra, and then next turn I can go back into Incineroar or something like that. Unlikely they would try to read a swap back to Incineroar and go for Surging Strikes into a Rocky Helmet Sinistra. I think, the, I think this is fine. Yeah, get that 9 HP hospitality. Thank you, Sinistra. Love me some tea. Yeah, they're just protecting. They're just wasting time. Yep, and I'm going to do more damage to you than you do to me. I didn't see a life orb on Chen Pao, so it's probably uh, Mystic Water on this Urshifu or something. Uh, who would I rather take out? Because I could throw a body press now. I guess Urshifu isn't intimidated because of the Surging Strikes crit, so it can actually, like, hit Incineroar and stuff. So I should take out that slot, but I could see them just leaving. Who would they go into? Fluttermane? Should I just call that and heavy slam them? I'm willing to go for that play right now. That would be such a baller move that I I'm willing to go for it. That's not Fluttermane though. It's just Rillaboom. That's fine. Thank you for the healing. And I'll intimidate you. This is great. I love it. Maybe you read this switch, but you're not going to do much about it. Okay, three physical attackers that Gudra can handle. That's amazing. And you just keep clicking the super effective buttons. Maybe that's just your play style. Respectable. What does that mean is in the back? I don't know. I don't think it's Incineroar. I think it is one of the special attackers. Incineroar is not honestly that threatened here, so I'll leave it in. In fact, I'm gonna go for a body press. No, I'm gonna get up my final shelter. And I will fake out the Chen Pao if they let me. They just swapped the Chen Pao now. Into... can't read that either. Urshifu. Fine. It's fine. Now even though you know for a fact I'm bringing in Sinistra, there's nothing you can do about it. You can be 800% sure I'm bringing in Sinistra, but you're just gonna have to deal with it. I guess your play there would be bring back in Chen Pao. Sinistra's also getting low. Sinistra actually has to be on the field for a whole turn to heal back up with Life Dew or something. This would be a good game for Strength Zap too. Surging Strikes into Gudra now. Yeah, just testing the uh, Shell Armor. I get it. I do have Shell Armor, but you didn't know that for a fact until you test it. So that's a respectable play. And you turn, yeah. Bring in the Chen Pao again. Good play. Oh, here you go. Here's your play. Crash and Surging Strike Sinistra. No, that's Fluttermane. <laughs> Whatever. I appreciate the opportunity to heavy slam the final threat. If I get a Heavy Slam onto that Fluttermane, who I now know is not Sash, and I haven't been intimidated, so I will get the KO if you let me. 
it becomes unwinnable. Gudra just wins against the rest. Excellent. Gudra, click the win button, please. And Sinistra, I guess I'll swap you into Ensign. Would they see that coming? Heavy Slam. No, I'll go into Milotic here. There's a non-zero chance they just read the Ensign swap. So I'll, I'll, I'm happy to go into Milo here. Okay, they did don't read that swap, that's fine. I feel like they're in a position where they need to make reads like that. And they're just not doing it. Uh, this could be a Protect. And then a Fake Out Gudra. So that you don't get Heavy Slam. And you can get a hit off with Fluttermane, yeah. That makes sense. That'll get you a free hit with Fluttermane next turn. And I'm happy for that hit to be uncontested. I'm not going to risk my Lottic here. Just for the fun of it. I will go for the Heavy Slam. I'm going to get faked out. And I'll go into Incineroar. I want to get Trick Room up at some point. If I can get Rillaboom and Urshifu on the field at the same time, that's basically the only position where I can guarantee Trick Room. But it's not that big a deal if I don't get it. Yep, you use Fake Out, and then probably Moonblast the Gudra or something. Call Mind! Oh, do you have a defensive Terra? Oh, and grass is over, that's funny. Yeah, I'm gonna throw a heavy slam at you because I should just always be doing that. And then you're probably gonna swap out, so I will parting shot that slot. Yeah, you just protect, and then you click U-turn into Incineroar. No surprises there. And then, who do you go to? Shifu? Chen Pao? Does it matter? If it's Shifu, I'll consider trying to set Trick Room. Yeah, I think I'll go for the Trick Room, because you either have to Shadow Ball to take out my Sinistra, or let me get Trick Room up. And either way, if you go for Shadow Ball, you're staying in and getting Heavy Slam, which is great for me. Um, I guess if you have, like, Terra Water, now would be the time to reveal it. Heavy Slam, Trick Room. Any Terra other than Fairy, and you can live a Heavy Slam. I guess, like, Ice wouldn't, but... They're, they're, keep, they're keeping in it. They're trying to play. Okay, they swap that slot. That's cool. Back into Rillaboom. Ah, here's their defensive Terra. Finally. Into Grass, though. I don't know if that's good for you. Heavy Slam is a two-shot. Body Press will KO you from wherever you're at. Yeah, now I can just put two Pokemon that can KO you on the field. Yeah. <laughs> you're going down to the next, uh, it's gonna be Body Presses now. Body Press hits anything you swap into. Yeah, you can protect! What can you do? You can protect and U-turn. But I don't think that gets you enough. I just have to attack with one of these Pokemon. Did I click Body Press? I hope I clicked Body Press. Heavy Slam works too, though, but 
It's like the Urshifu swap or something. So it might be time to give up your Calm Mind boost, because you're in this game. You just keep playing. Not worth you turning, huh? Oh, because of the pet potential fake out. Got it. You protect. Now your play is plus one Moonblast, KOs. My Gudra? That's not gonna happen. Like, your booster energy, speed. So, like, plus one is the same as Specs. I can take a Specs Moonblast. You don't even have Terra. This is fine. I'll finally body press your Fluttermane, which is the win condition. Fluttermane goes down is the win condition. It's taken me a long time to do. And like, a lot of these protects, in fact, every single one of these protects, I could have read. But it would gain me nothing to read it, because I have to win by killing Fluttermane. Like, you're sure, they took out Sinistra at some point. They are doing damage to my team, but they're never gonna break Gudra. So I'm fine. Yep, they go for the Moonblast. It doesn't even do half. And they just try to Surging Strikes there. Good game. That is game over. I have won. Phew! That was a tough one. Good game to my opponent. And uh, good on any of y'all at home if you stick out to see Gudra just sit on the rest of his Pokemon. It's possible he knows this is over and, and just forfeits now. But this game is definitely over. Good job, Gudra. Yeah, you just brought three physical attackers thinking you could beat Gudra. Uh-uh. Oh, I want to see what else they had in the back. I wonder if there was something else they could have brought. I think they left at home Incineroar and Bolt. If it was a Calm Mind Bolt, you should have brought it. Incineroar wouldn't have helped at all. I guess you could have knocked off my leftovers. Whatever. But yeah, it's fine. Uh, I'm gonna go for the body press into... Urshifu? No. I'm gonna go for the body press into Rillaboom. And bring in Incineroar. Oh, and they're still gonna keep playing it out, okay. Yeah, anything I click here doesn't really matter, as long as I'm body pressing. Like, yeah, they can go ahead and read this, Surging Strikes, kill Incineroar. Next turn they can Wood Hammer, kill Milotic, whatever. Who cares? I don't care. Good read! Yeah, you did it! Congratulations! Now, I guess it's not over-over. I did see they have Crash. So they could flinch me all the way to death. I guess. Do I still have my leftovers intact, though? Yeah, I do have my leftovers intact, so I don't even think they can Crash me to death. Between the healing and protecting. And plus, your Rillaboom's at minus one now, so can you even KO my Lottic? Who still has its berry, apparently. <laughs> that berry almost never triggers. Maybe I should have a different item on my Lottic. Um, I'm gonna click, sorry, it's taking me so long, Body Press and Ice Beam. They just go for Grassy Glide, that doesn't even bring me to my berry. And Surging Strikes the Gudra, okay. Props to them for staying in it. My internet connection has been a little bit unstable these last couple days. Their win condition might be just win that way. That Ice Beam does nothing. And you're gone. Uh, 
Uh, is there any way they win on timer just by having more Pokemon left? No, because I'm definitely knocking out Rillaboom this turn with Body Press because of the Sword of Ruin boost. No, you don't have Grass anymore, so you don't have your priority anymore? My Milotic shouldn't be faster than any Rillabooms, though. Unless you're intentionally sacking speed. So I will just body press you here. And go for a Scald to break the, uh, Sash. If you allow it. Oh yeah, Crash does barely anything. And Sword of Ruin Woodhammer will take Milotic. Okay. You've got your win condition. Crash me until timer. If I, if I cannot KO anything... Okay, well that's... Good. If you can flinch me and stay at full health until the timer in three minutes, I might be in trouble. So I'm gonna start mashing A. <laughs> okay, they don't wait, so... They don't see that that's the win condition. And I get the body press anyway. You're at 1 HP. Now I win on timer. Oh boy, this was a long one. Any of y'all who are still here and didn't just skip ahead to the next thing or, or skip all the video, good for you, but like, this wasn't ever gonna go any other way. I don't know what you were here waiting for. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you in the next match. Good game to my opponent. You really stuck it out. You probably could have saved yourself 15 minutes by just quitting, but... And then use that time to get a trainer card. Okay, I've got another high-ranked opponent. Expanding Horse. Torn Archaladon. And then a Landorus and an Urshifu of some kind. The only thing that forces Moltres to Terra is Electroshot. So I kind of like Moltres. Unless they force the Terra. I'll bring Sinistra and probably Milotic. Or could it be Incineroar? No, it's got to be Milotic. I need Milotic for the Landorus. I need Sinistra for the healing, and for the redirection. And then it's Milotic. I definitely need the screens up, especially with Moltres. Moltres needs the screens more than Gudra does. Uh, alternatively, could this be a Gudra game? Yeah, this could easily be a Gudra game. Gudra does well against anything not named Landorus. But our Chaladon's iffy. I don't know, this is one of those games where you would want the best of three, because I want to feel out what they want to do. Having to pick right now whether to go Moltres or Gudra mode is kind of scary. Because like, if they lead Psy Spam, I chose right. Ah, oh, no trainer card. But if they lead Torn Archaladon, I think I would have preferred to lead the other way. Uh, and of course they do that. Okay, I cannot afford Moltres Terra. I am poor. <laughs> oh boy. Maybe I can. Yeah, I think I can actually. I think I have to. I don't think I can afford to not Terra, is the thing. If I can t do a ton of damage before Landorus comes in and ends my career, then I think I'm actually in a good position against their back end. Now, if their back end is Expanding Horse, yikes. <laughs> then I made a boo boo. But I don't think it would be. I think you absolutely bring Landorus. I don't think I've ever seen someone not bring Landorus in against my team. How much does this plus one electroshot do through light screen? 
für meinen Grimsnow? Yo. Okay. You say so. Uh, do I want reflect? No. There is absolutely no purpose to reflect. I'm gonna click Fiery Wrath. And I'm gonna click Spirit Break on our Chaladon. I don't think, since Moltres hasn't been damaged yet, I'm not really too threatened. I don't want a parting shot into Sinistra yet. I definitely don't want a parting shot into Milotic right now. Yet again, I Terra Moltres when I didn't need to. Story of my life. Though even if I didn't Terra turn one, I would probably Terra this turn. Uh, and now they pop their Terra. Stellar Arch? Draco Meteor? I shouldn't be saying these things out loud. <laughs> Bleakwind plus Draco is gonna hurt. This Bleakwind won't proc my berry. No, I can take a Draco through screens here. Oh, it's just Electro Shot? Who cares? Plus two Electro Shot? Whatever. Whatever. I kinda hope you do go after Moltres then. You do not. That's fine. Whatever. Whatever. I'm fine. Wrath puts them both into KO range next turn. No, it doesn't. I thought for sure it would. Hmm. Interesting. Well, if they let me, I'm gonna trick room now. Because pretty much everything should be slower on my end. Except like Indeedee. Fiery Wrath and Trick Room if they let me. A plus two hit from our Chaladon plus Bleak Wind Storm, even through Light Screen, should be taking Sinistra pretty easily. Maybe they're not too worried about Moltres because they have Lando. Maybe they're not too worried about Moltres because they have Expanding Horse. I doubt they have Expanding Horse, though. Um, them taking out Sinistra could be bad. Maybe. If they go for Draco, that could be any target. It's Sinistra. Okay. That's fine, but when I say fine, I don't mean really fine, because it's not fine. Because you're still alive. If you were dead, I would say that's fine. Okay. Time to see Lando and be scared of it. Because they now have what? Neutral special attack? Water Shifu. I still have my berry. I can take a Surging Strike. They need to double up Moltres to win. Yeah, if they don't double up Moltres... Oh, they don't even go after Moltres. Are they gonna Electroshock Milotic too? Man, they do not care about Moltres, huh? They definitely have Lander as fourth. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is a GG. I'm not winning this one. Oh, brother. Now that Urshifu should be gone, yes it is. Huh. Will they scarf Urshifu into close combat? Should I have taken out the other slot? And then it's Landorus, right? Yeah. Last turn of rain. Hmm. 
my win condition is they miss Draco Meteor next turn, and Fiery Wrath somehow gets two KOs. Because I will still have Light Screen, but they will not have Rain, so they can't go for Electro Shot. It's not a great win condition. But it's what I've got. I guess it's also possible Archaladon is speed tying my Moltres and just winning every time. Since they are, in fact, they seem to be an Assault Vest stamina set. Oh, good game. You read that and subbed. That's a good play either way, because if I take out Archaladon with Fiery Wrath here, whatever, you have a sub and you can Earth Power twice. Good game. Is it possible you don't have Earth Power and you just have Sand Seer? I don't think that's possible. But if it is, I technically haven't lost. Nope, you have Earth Power. Good game. Might just KO on its own. Oh, not quite. Good. Well, let's see if I can get the uh, Draco Meteor dodge anyway. Ooh, if you have Sub and Earth Power, you don't have Sand Seer at all, huh? Just go for a Flash Cannon. That's a safer play. Yep, so I could not have won. Alright, good game. Uh, good game. Guess I should have not Terrid Moltres so early. Or maybe just play Gudra. Gudra might have done it. Good game. Alright. Oh, so cool. Oh, I'm terrified of this. Torkoal. Cornerstone. Alcremy. Farigoreth. Smeargle. And Blood Moon. I hate this. <laughs> I have no idea what to do. Okay, Sinistra can redirect spores from Smeargle. Unless they're safety goggles, which they probably wouldn't be. Oh boy. Um, it could be Eject Pack Smeargle, where they go for the Follow Me Trick Room and then get Blood Moon in right away. Uh, maybe I go Moltres Incineroar? Uh, I don't think there's any way I can win without screens. I need light screen up. Grimmsnarl Moltres. Incineroar Sinistra? Or do I just not have Incineroar at all and just accept the spores? I have my Lodic. Yeah, I just bring the tankiest guys I can. Mine is Gudra. Oh, this is a tough one. Okay. That was a decent trainer card. I'm not sure what was, that was going on there. Was that like a hand? It's Brugraf Smeargle. They can fake out. They can spore. Try to get light screen while I can. Set up a nasty plot. Yeah, they don't go for fake out. They're gonna spore somebody. They're slower than my Moltres. That doesn't sound right. Oh, they must not be max speed, which means they are the eject pack set. I'm about to get Blood Moon. And they eject. Yep, saw that coming. Not much I can do about it, though. Good lord. I mean, Moltres behind light screen. If anything can take a hit from Ursaluna, it's that. So 
so I'll hit them with a spirit break. And this is my mandatory sleep turn. Um, could they Blood Moon into my Grim Slot? Maybe. What could I have done better turn one? I don't think I have a combo on this team that could have knocked out for Rigorath through Terra turn one. And their weakness policy, Blood Moon! Oh no! Oh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt so bad. Yeah, what? Do, does my team even have an answer to this? I don't think I do. This is not gonna KO anybody. That's good, at least. It did uh, about 109 to Moltres. I can live another one, weirdly enough. But not any double up with Rigorath. And you're a little bit weaker now. So I go into Sinistra. Yeah, I gotta get out of Trick Room. I go into Sinistra. And if I wake up... I'd rather protect. I need the one turn sleep. I really need the one turn sleep. Cause this might just be a blood moon anyway. Plus a helping hand. Okay, wake up. Wake up. Yes! Thank you, Moltres. You're amazing. It's just a helping handed hyper voice, Sinistra should eat that. Uh, eat is a strong word. Now I need to prevent Helping Hand Blood Moon into Moltres. To do that, I Rage Powder. Yeah, I have to. Helping Hand Blood Moon is the one thing that Moltres could not take from it here. And I hope they do go for it, because they could just be hyper-voicing. Oh, it is Blood Moon, yes! Okay. Oh, thank you for your service, Sinistra. I salute you. And now we, what am I at, plus three Fiery Wrath firing up? Double KO. Excellent. Full sleep. Wake up, protect, attack. There is one turn of Trick Room remaining. They have a Smeargle that is slower than Moltres. I have Terra intact. This could be good. And it's Torkoal last. I love to see it. <laughs> Now, the main problem would be if... They get a speed boost on Smeargle this turn. Because I need to protect to get out of Trick Room. life do with Milotic and protect. Because Milotic doesn't have protect, but they don't know that. Yeah, they just go for eruption. That's great. And they pro they didn't go for a priority move, so they're probably going to click Spore into Milotic, which is fine. Oh, their Smeargle is actually in between our two speeds. That's interesting. Make up the 
spore onto there. I could not terra grass there. <laughs> you know, that's not happening. The dimensions return to normal and they get a special defense boost. That's almost as bad. All right, what well, my Lottie clicks this turn will not matter. But I'm definitely clicking Fiery Wrath. Spore. They have yes. wide guard. Okay. Well, you're only going to get me with that one time. I'm never going to fall for that again. Uh, I probably should have just air slashed Torkoal. Special attack rise, special defense down to plus one, okay. All right, I want to keep clicking life do, and now I want to air slash your Torkoal. You'll probably read that and use follow me this time. I'll protect and spore, that's annoying. But eventually your sun will run out, your Smeargle can't really do any damage. My Lodic is still asleep, whatever. You're annoying, but Spore, Wide Guard, they get a speed rise now. I actually had a bad time for them. Last turn of Light Screen. I want to get Chip on Torkoal any way I can. If I can eliminate Torkoal, I win, <laughs> basically. Milotic can probably win this endgame on its own, I would think. Yep, Moltres asleep. Milotic's still asleep. Not good. Are they gonna win with Torkoal? I need to life do and protect here. Hopefully I can get the protect on Moltres. If Moltres just stays asleep, I don't know how I'm gonna win this. Why is that sun still up? Can that go away now, please? Oh boy. Moltres stays asleep. I just click follow me. At least my Lotic wakes up. Um, I don't know if that puts me out of eruption range, though. It does not. Well, I can get another light screen. That's something. And the sun is finally gone. Oh man. Smirgle has so much special defense and a little bit of speed. Oh, I think you probably sleep my Milotic here. <laughs> Light screen is better than parting shot. They just protect Torkoal and put something to sleep. I get it. Four into Milo. That's fine. Um, does Grimmsnarl's Ghost Terra help at all here? Not really. <laughs> Okay, Smeargle, you are so annoying. Life do. I'm gonna parting shot into the torque hole now. I don't think they would use follow me. They might though. They did not. Excellent. Alright, torque hole. <laughs> Ugh, hate you. No, I hate Smeargle. This Smeargle is so annoying. 
Props to them for not giving up yet, though. Like, they could crit an eruption here. Oh, that did too much damage to Grim. I don't like that. I need the life, too. And defense is down there, so... I need the life, do, And I will try to throw a spirit break at their Smeargle. They probably want to just follow me on this turn anyway. Keep Torkoal as healthy as possible. How many eruptions do you even have? Milotic wakes up, yes. And we're both out of the range. Grimmsnarl still asleep. I think they can win this. Okay, you have to... Hmm. You may not get the life due. But you're gonna go for Spore now. So now I can parting shot your Torkoal again. If I wake up. Oh, this is so annoying. <laughs> oh. They're really fighting for it, though. They do not want to lose this. Grimstar wakes up. You get another drop. Thank you. I just had taunt on this thing. <laughs> yeah, they spore my Lotic. Grimstar might be done. I guess I could have gone for Spirit Break into Smeargle here. Is that KO? Nope, but almost. Gosh. I still have my Berry, too. And four turns of Light Screen. Uh, one turn Sleep, please. You have a Defense Boost now. Life do. Try to hit a spirit break. Yep, all you have to do that turn is follow me. Wait, you didn't spore. Wait, you didn't spore. Grimstar is still awake, I thought. <laughs> Are you running out of spores? Are you running out of eruptions? I'm running out of patience. For you. Finally, damage into Smeargle. Show me a defense. Oh, not a defense. Rise. <laughs> Good lord. Uh, now you spore my Lotic. But I'll get to spirit break the Torkoal now. No, they'll protect. <laughs> of course. That's just a waste of your time, though. Like, that burns a sleep turn. I don't care. I'm happy to burn a sleep turn. How low do I need to get Torkoal before I can Terra Grass my Milotic? I, I just need to keep chipping Smeargle. Smeargle can't heal. Every time I hit it, it counts. Spore, follow me, wide guard. Did we even see their fourth move? Is it just something useless? Fake out, I guess, is probably what it was. They would never click that. That makes sense. Just to follow me, that lets me chip it. And I wake up. Grimmsnarl, you're not going down. And it's flamethrower, which we eat very well. A speed drop on Smeargle. 
You're still boosted, though. How's that light screen looking? Last turn of light screen. I think I'm gonna Terra Grass now and Skull Torval. While also going for a spirit break. No. I'm gonna try to hit Smeargle again. It's almost dead. Yeah, Torkoal just protects. They spore that slot. Who's gonna end up winning this on timer? <laughs> I think ignoring the spore could be really big this turn. Yeah, they're definitely going to want to spore this turn. I will ignore it and I will scald. And I will try to spirit break Smeargle still, if I wake up. I don't know who's going to win this on timer. Milotic has a lot of HP. And Torkoal's about to not. Yeah, I bet you don't know I did had Terra still. I'm just waiting for you to stop erupting. Two minute warning. Oh boy, this one was a mess. Block the spore. Thank you. Finally. Get some good damage into Torkoal. Almost all of it. Grimmsnarl still asleep, whatever. Flamethrower into Grim. Happy with that. And then I'm guessing you click follow me. Plus six special defense, you can take a hit. I'll try to scald Torkoal and I'll try to spirit break Smeargle. I should win on timer if it goes to timer this turn. Unless they get, like, a crit flamethrower into my Lottic. But then again, Grimmsnarl probably wakes up this turn. Might knock out Smeargle. When they go for the follow me. I get the skull. It's not enough. Neither would a burn be. But a burn helps. Grimmsnarl's still asleep, unfortunately. So if they knock out Grim here, they win. 6 HP. Life due up. Spirit break the Smeargle to death. Should win. Should. Should win. Because <laughs> Grimstarl definitely wakes up this turn, knocks out Smeargle. I get life due out of range. I think I win this on timer, yeah? Even if you crit, I would have more HP than you left. Battle's over. Smeargle's down. Ugh. Okay, what do you got? Flamethrower into Milo. No crit. Good game. Whew! That was an annoying match. But I win, right? I defeated Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. You never gave up. I can respect that, even though I'm so annoyed. Okay, wing. Okay, fire ogre pond. I have not seen a lot of fire ogre ponds. This might be the first one. That's crazy. Uh... Expanding Horse, Landorus, Fluttermane. Who would their lead be? Because Moltres has to Terra if they lead Flutter. I think it's a Gudra. I think Gudra Grim is good. Gudra Grim is good. I need my Lodic to help with Lando. 
and I probably need Sinistra as well. For once, Sinistra isn't the worst. Incineroar, I don't have Knock Off. Incineroar is not bad though. Even not having Knock Off, it's not bad. Moltres ain't bad either. Not gonna lie, what if I bring Gudra and Moltres? Is that crazy? That might be crazy. Is that too crazy? I don't know. I'm kind of for it. Because I don't really see, like, other than hospitality, which is Sinistra's whole job, I don't really see much that it can do that my Lottic can't just also do. I don't know. Eh. Some people like her, I guess. So maybe bringing both modes. I'd like to see Flutter Torn. Gudra very much likes to see Flutter Torn. Uh, I only need body presses. Well, I need body press damage eventually, but getting rid of Flutter Main would be the win condition for Moltres. So I have no problem clicking Heavy Slam and Light Screen. Even if you taunt my uh, Gudra, I'm fine with that. As long as you give me Flutter Main, I'm okay with losing Grimmsnarl and getting taunted even. If I can have your Flutter Main for it. And you're going for Terra. Most Flutters don't have defensive Terras. You are no exception. That's great. No, don't be sad. I'm guessing this is what, Sunny Day? For a damage? No. Just Bleak Wind and Moonblast? Dazzling Gleam? Just Dazzling Gleam, okay. I might not even lose Grim. I think I could take a Bleak Wind from there. Yeah. Look at you go, Grim. Heavy Slam! Thank you. Thank you so much. I love you. This isn't even a Gudra game anymore. Moltres is gonna be the win condition. In which case I should probably get Reflect up, in case they have Ogre Pond. Even though they're just gonna crit me. Whew, okay. Uh, I wanna see what else you have. That looks like Landorus. Yeah, it is. Fine. I think I'm just gonna play it slow. Protect. I already have light screen up. Protect, and I wanna hit you with a parting shot. They protect Torn, why? What's Torn ever done to anybody? Oh, they protect both, got it. I see. Baiting out the protect from Gudra, I see. That's okay. You baited out Gudra's protect, fine. That happens. I'm gonna hard into Moltres. And then I'm gonna parting shot Landorus and go into Milotic so I can start healing up the Moltres. With light screen up, I'm not threatened by either of these. Um, and my Milotic, unfortunately, is Terra Grass, which in this matchup doesn't help me, because if they have Ogre Pond in the back going for a grass move, I, I'd rather be Dragon. Grass obviously saves me sometimes when I'm about to get spored, but it doesn't always work out. All right, Bleak Wind Storm, drop my speed on Milotic, Earth Power, my Moltres. And you can Bleak Wind my Moltres. I guess that one could hit. That's okay. Yep, Earth Power, Moltres. Thank you. You're going for a Bleak Wind. Uh, no dodges. That's okay. As long as you drop the Milotic speed. No, that's Moltres' speed. Oh, come on. That's all I get. All right, Nasty Plot, Life Do. Seems really free. Landorus is scared, and show me your last. It must be Ogre Pond, right? It is Ogre Pond. And 
they just protect there. Okay. Ah, <sighs> problem. I didn't set up Reflect. So a plus one Terrifier Ivy Cudgel might just be about to rip Moltres in half. Can't really safely bring in Grim. Hmm, it's a rough situation. Uh, just protect. Okay, they don't go for the Terra Fire. Did they Terra already? And I forgot. I'm just going for regular old Ivy Cudgel and probably Bleak Wind. Yeah. I feel like the last thing they would expect is for me to give up Gudra's, Moltres' boosts. And I kinda have to. No, they already did Terra. Can I take that then? I think so. I think I can take that. As a backup, I I'm going to start sheltering with Gudra. Oh, that didn't even do enough with a crit. If they had gotten a crit, that still wouldn't have done enough, I mean. Another speed drop. Whatever. Going berserk. Now just connect an air slash, and we're in a great position all of a sudden. Yeah, bye Ogrepan. Okay. Okay, Moltres. Yeah, that Terra Fairy turn one really messed them up. See, I don't usually bring both of these sweepers because they can't really support each other. Though I've used Life Do Gudra in the past, that can support it. But they can work together. I still have multiple turns of light screen, plus three special attack. I feel extremely safe just throwing Wrath. And it might seem weird, but... Honestly, Gutra going down wouldn't be the worst. Yeah, I'll Heavy Slam Landorus as well. Okay, just go for Sludge Bomb can't get the poison because of your ability, and I dodged Lee Quinn, which wasn't going to kill me anyway. And now I get a Wrath and a Heavy Slam. More speed drops. You're never going to speed drop on my Milotic. You'll speed drop everything else. And that is game. Moltres and Gudra working together. Best buds. Let's go. Bop, you're gone. Critical hit to finish it off. Gudra loves to crit when it doesn't matter. Just because you can't crit it. Oh, wow. Good game. I'm impressed by my Pokemon there. Okay. Trick Room with Cresselia and Ursaluna. Incineroar, Amoongus, Raging Bolt, Fluttermane. Uh, the problem with Moltres is I have to Terra for Flutter. Maybe that's not so bad, though. 
I like Sinistra a lot. Sinistra can handle the bear usually. And I have Incineroar just because Amoongus could be a problem. It could also potentially fake out their Incineroar. Or their Cresselia, or anything. They don't have a Farigraph or an Indeedee to stop that. As much as I would like screens here, I don't think it's going to happen. And then probably Milotic last. Just for life dues. Test Terra Grass, maybe, could help in the late game. If Amoongus causes more problems. Grim isn't bad either, but Milotic can actually support a little bit better. And I do think it's a Moltres game this time. Mm, I guess if I Terra Gudra turn one, I could do a lot. No trainer card, boo. Boo him. Um, well, I can't think about how Gudra could have been the right play because I didn't bring it. Oh no! Gudra was the right play! <laughs> No booster energy on either of them? Terra Nasty Plot. Fake you out. That's what I gotta do. Um, either one of those could Terra Fairy. Bolt Terra Fairy would be really annoying. Super annoying. Um, but I think Moltres is in a decent position now. I should be able to get the nasty plot pretty safely. Uh, Terra Fairy Fluttermane could probably two-shot my Incineroar, but they're not going for that. I guess Specs Moonblast could two-shot Incineroar if they went for that. But I think I can take a couple Dazzling Gleams. In fact, I think I'm EV'd to live standard Fluttermane Dazzling Gleam twice from Fairy Terra. But it's just Moonblast. That might do over half. It does not. Incredible. They prove they are faster than my Moltres. Interesting. Um, could they be an Assault Vest Snarl set? I mean, they have a lot of speed investment. I know that. Because they are slower than Moltres naturally. I think it's time to click Fiery Wrath. And I'm gonna Parting Shot out on the Bolt. Incineroar should be the slowest thing on the field. So I can bring in Sinistra and heal after Gudra takes damage, if it does take damage. Not Gudra, Moltres. Sorry Gudra, sorry Moltres. <laughs> You're the same, it's, it's the sweeper slot. They just sweep a little differently. All right, here's a Terra Fairy. Oh, it could be Terra Fairy Moonblast. No, it's cold. Alright, I said that would be annoying, and it is. And they perish song with Flutter. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to swap out Moltres eventually. What's the point of snarling me if you're gonna make me swap out? In fact, both of you are gonna have to swap out. Which is actually good for me. <laughs> Who do I want to go to? Milotic, I think? Yeah, I think I'll bring in Milotic. They could throw an electric move, but they're at minus one. <laughs> Parish count fell to three, parish count fell to three, parish count fell to three. I don't think they have any way to trap. You're probably gonna wanna swap out your flutter main. I mean, I wanna keep throwing fiery rats. I think my lot can take a hit anyway. So maybe throw a move as well? 
maybe a Scald into a random slot? I think Bolt might want to swap out right now. Maybe just go for Shadow Ball. Oh, they get a crit. Oh, that's bad. But they boost me up a bit. Now I wish I had clicked Life too. And they Draco that slot? Oh, and I'm still alive though. Alright, well, I'm doing a ton of damage. Well, you don't have to swap out your Fluttermane now. You're welcome. What is Skull missing? I don't like that delay. If I get the burn, you're dead. Um, I think Moltres is faster than Milotic, unfortunately. So if I double swap, I don't get what I want. Uh, would they be willing to lose their bolt? I think I'm willing to risk Moltres here. Yeah, Fiery Wrath. Bring in Sinistra for some healing. That might take me out of, like, Thunderclap or something range. And Bolt just swaps. You're gonna let me hit something. Maybe you don't let me hit the bear. You could just protect it pretty safely. Well, Moltres, this is probably the last. This is gonna be the last hit you get to throw. And the bear just protects. But big damage on Cress. Always love it. Moltres is mad that you tried to pull that stuff. Oh, and Cress lives. Wow. Well, I didn't actually lose Moltres. I think this is a good time to bring in Incineroar. They already tear it. I'm just gonna throw Macha Gacha. It'll do big damage to the bear. Yeah, they just forfeit. Good game. Great game. That's gonna be my last match, because I'm on a win streak. I wanna end on a high note. Alright, we're back with the rental code. If you liked this video, which you probably did if you made it this far, go ahead and don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, I'm Jordy, and uh, all right, peace.